from manual Jeppesen chart bag to EFB. The transition, when it happened, we struggled to make the best efficient bag that now goes with a suitcase that we can call a pilot bag. So this is what we call is the paperless airside bag. And this is how it works. Number one, it's not wider to over suitcase. That's a great idea. I'll just show you the back. It slides onto my suitcase handlebars. It's a strap to go this way. Great idea. But what happens is when you load the bag to maximum weight, the suitcase gets top heavy. So with the inputs from pilots over the years, we tweaked and made these handles shorter, deliberate. Now when you carry this on your J-hook on the suitcase, your suitcase is not top heavy. That's the best way to go. This front is a C-type zipper pocket. This is designed to accommodate your company EFB. So you can go in and out for security checks. But what happens is pilots carry two tablets, one company, one personal. So you have your personal tablet, you throw it in here. You have your work tablet this way. And there's a zipper here for wires when we commercial to a destination or you're a deadhead crew, this is a great idea where you can hide your name card and name elasticated hidden pocket. We still monogram the three initials here if you want or a call sign name for a personal touch to it. This bag has a deep back pocket which is your personal pocket. This pocket is a deep big pocket with an inside zipper with a car key holder. You can carry a large laptop and a protection sleeve, old or new clothes, shoes or whatever. You can throw it in here. This is a big deep pocket. This front pocket is your flight kit where you have pockets for your uh, mar markers or pens. You have a big phone pocket. You have a, a, another pocket, a, a mag light holder. Now let's say you come back from a trip and you need extra room. If you open this center zipper and you keep opening the center zipper, this bag grows into a deeper, bigger bag. But, and this is on the front side. So this is how it grows. Actually, this is how it looks when it's loaded. So that's our paperless airside bag. But the cargo pilots had a problem with this bag. They say this is a great bag, but it doesn't work for us. And this is what they said. Unlike your commercial jet pilot friends, we do not have a jetway. We walk up the ladder, we want to be hands-free. We commercial to the airports, long walks at the airport. If you look at the FedEx, UPS, cargo pilots, they are all backpack people. This has a nice shoulder contour sling, but doesn't work as a backpack. So this is how the back is, it's clean. So we had to go back to the drawing board and we created another option to this bag. What we did is between the comparison to this and to this bag, we added a zipper pocket here. So just to give you guys a visual, we added zipper pocket to the same bag. It's the same bag. We added a zipper pocket to the top. There are two hidden back straps. They clip onto the hidden clasps into the bag. And now this bag converts into a backpack, which is even good for even a six feeter person. That's a backpack, pretty strong if you want it to be or you can put it back, put newspapers, the pocket is still useful. So that's our paperless airside bag with a backpack arrangement. Another neat idea is the infinite storage on our paperless airside bag. So this is our paperless airside bag, that's the front. This is the back. This back pocket, I'm opening this zipper to give you guys a visual on the infinite storage. So the infinite storage basically is a really a big name, but what it basically is, is these are crisscross elasticated arrangements where you can put your extra phones, charging wires, earpieces, headset, accessories. They are organized the way you want it. So you, you don't need a dedicated pocket for it, which may may not work for you, but this mish mash mesh works a great arrangement for you to arrange any accessories that you carry on your travel trips. If not black, these are the color choices a distress brown or an antique leather or a light brown. What happens is everything is so black that when we are at the flight ops, 
everybody has these Swiss Army black bags and we get lost with it even though we have identification tags. So we have an option. Uh, this is subject to availability, but we can make you bags uh, in, in different brown leathers and different colors. Which bag should I go for? Should I go for the commuter airside bag or should I go for the paperless airside bag? The, the way to make a decision, I, I would give you my personal suggestion is, if you have a medium height suitcase, I would go for this kind of a bag to make it a two-piece luggage. And if I have a tall suitcase, I would go for such an arrangement bag. Uh, also, it, it, it depends. I mean, uh, if, if I was a commuter, I would definitely go for this version. And if I just drive to work, I may go for this version. This is more compact and simple. That's the way I would compare to go for the two bags. Or better still, for, for me, you can have both the bags and depending on how you work, you can use both of them efficiently. If you like our products and want more such products and more information, please visit our website and we'll see you around in one of the next Earth rotations.